name's Gene Welch. I'm the Public Safety and Information Officer with the Truckee Fire Protection District. Okay. And what are we out here doing today? Today we're doing a, a drill with the Civil Support Team, the 95th Civil Support Team, which is a military team operating out of Hayward. Uh, we have cooperating agencies here today in the form of the um, Eastern Placer County hazmat team and the central Placer County hazmat teams. We'll see two rigs behind us over here that uh, are from those teams. The scenario is going to be um, some unknown substance. We've got people down in the building behind us and as would normally happen the hazmat team would be dispatched. They're preparing to make entry right now. We've got a decon station set up for when they come out. We've got another station set up where there are, are presently gearing up to go in, they would call for assistance um, from the military or from the 95th Civil Support Team, make entry into the building, come back out with their findings. Meanwhile, the Civil Support Team would be um, getting ready to come up here uh, to respond to this incident. So. They will be delayed in their response today. We're not going to have all the players enter at one time or be here at one time. So they're not going to know what's going on until they get here as would happen in a real scene. We'll see evaluators walking around that are going to monitor what's going on, can give feedback to the group, letting them know what they're supposed to find because there are no real, real agents out there. When they're using their um, equipment, the observation team will tell them, okay, you just picked up so many parts per million of a certain type of agent on your equipment, and then they have to respond accordingly. When the team has gone in and made entry, they're limited to the amount of oxygen, or excuse me, the amount of air that they have in their tanks uh, as to how long they can stay. They're going to have to come back out and go through this decon station. You'll see three separate pools inside. They go through each pool one at a time being scrubbed down so they're consistently clean until they get out to the end. And there's a large canister at the end that they deposit everything that has been exposed until they can deem that it's safe. They, they're checked health-wise before they go in and when they come out. They're going to have their blood pressure taken, the pulse. Um, <coughs> excuse me, make sure that everybody is okay. So, they're getting ready to start right now, so we're going to go over to the gym here and see what's going on. Morning, some uh, firefighter students went into the gym area over here at the fire station. They were cleaning up the weight room. They were setting up for uh, some refreshments, and uh, for unknown reasons, they were overcome by uh, pugent odor and experienced some nausea or um, nasal irritation, runny nose, and watery eyes. They got a little short of breath. Evidently, uh, one of them fell and struck their head, so supposedly there's four people still in there. We have no contact with them at this time. Hard to say. A, a little bit. It's hard to say right now. It's kind of blurry. Uh, a little bit. Okay. Did you see any, any gas or liquid or anything? No, I didn't see anything. Okay. Anything out of the ordinary? Um, nothing out of the ordinary. Just extreme smell, being overwhelmed. Lots of fluids from the eyes and nose. Other than that. Difficulty breathing? Yeah, real difficulty breathing. 